Welcome back for another edition of Calhoun County's Most Wanted, the program where you get to help make Calhoun County a better and safer place for all of us by helping us lock up some of the bad guys. I'm Chris Wright, your host, along with Chief Deputy Matthew Wade from the Sheriff's Office. Good hey. to see you, Matthew. Hey, it's always a pleasure to be here. It's always good to give a good report. We got another good report this week. Seven people put in jail all because you were willing to get involved. There's the faces, the, the felonious faces and the mean mugs of those seven. Brings our count up to 3,418 people put in jail because of this TV show. Thank you. And you know, going to jail obviously is not something that we want to happen, but occasionally some good things do happen to people while they're in jail. I know I'm one of the people who saw the, uh, the video online of the baptisms that happened at the Callan County Jail, and I saw where this, this has actually been seen by, I believe, over 800,000 people now online. Hey, you know, I tell people all the time, they come to jail, we put them in a, in a cell, we leave them there for however long time, do nothing with them when we get out. If we expect a different results, that's yeah. a little insane. Uh, you know, our chaplain started in 2007. Uh, local area churches and, and Calhoun County Baptist Association pay for him. Taxpayers don't pay a dime for this man. He comes in. Not only does he, does he uh, share the Word of God, he, he also counsels them when their girlfriend breaks up with them or there's children issues and they're behind bars, divorces, deaths. It's hard for a correctional officer who is the rules person of the jail to be the advocate for the inmate as well. Right. He's the advocate for the inmate when they need something, they can see him, he provides uh, indigent packages for them. And, and the work he's doing is, is spreading love. You know, we truly believe at the Sheriff's Office for them to have a change of uh, life, they gotta have a change of heart first. Right. So that's where we're at. And you know, for a lot of these people, I imagine it's, it's the first time in their life that somebody has actually listened to them. Well, people talk about jailhouse religion. You know, when they get in jail, they find God. When they get out of jail, they lose them again. That's not so similar to, to many Christians' lives. You know, when you, when you find God, a lot of times you feel close to Him, and, and there's ups and downs, peaks and valleys. But I do know this. Um, when you're in jail and you've lost everything, sometimes it's, you get really clear vision. You get back out in the world and your vision gets cloudy. That might be so, but we're not here to judge them for that. We're here to try to at least give them every opportunity we can to hopefully change their life so they don't come back to the jail. Uh, right. We, we have had some people got in the jail ministry, got saved, now they come back and mentor to others. Yeah, and just because it doesn't work for everybody doesn't mean you throw it out. Absolutely. We, we want to do something to try to help, just not warehouse people. They matter. Let's see if we can do something for them, then we want to do that. Very good. All right. Well, we are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the first half of this week's lineup on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. For emergency and non-emergency medical transportation, you can count on Aniston EMS. Hello, I'm Johnny Warren with Aniston EMS, and we appreciate the opportunity to provide support for the Calhoun County's Most Wanted program. And I would like to remind everyone out there that if they need any medical transportation needs, please don't hesitate to call us. Call Aniston EMS at 256-237-8572. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a crackhead, drug addict, alcoholic, meth freak, a wretch like me. I once was homeless, broken, sad, just lost. But now I am sober, happy. I'm fine. Was blind, but now I see. Every day, shattered lives are restored thanks to the goods you donate to the Salvation Army. Your word is rigmarole. Can you define it? A long, complicated, and annoying process. Can you use it in a sentence? The last time I tried to buy a car, I just got a big load of rigmarole. Well, you should have gone to Jacksonville Auto Sales. Jacksonville Auto Sales across from Walmart in Jacksonville or find us on the web at jascars.com. Remember, Jacksonville Auto Sales, home of the no rigmarole deal. 
Big news for home buyers searching through all those complicated mortgage options. AOD Federal Credit Union is now offering new, out-of-the-box mortgage solutions. Mortgage loan manager Jamie Bailey will help find the best rates and quickest approval for you. Conventional, FHA, VA, USDA, Jumbo, Harp, and more. Call Jamie Bailey at 256-241-8218. Out-of-the-box mortgage services. Reason number four, that you belong with AOD Federal Credit Union. Federally insured by NCUA. All loans subject to credit approval. Certain restrictions apply. Equal housing lender. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality, and Sunny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sunny King Ford for the best cars and best price. Hi, I'm Katina Houston with Family Links, and this is the Family Tip of the Week. What do we know about our kids' relationships? There are some subjects that we, as parents, would love to ignore for fear of our own embarrassment, lack of knowledge, or simply thinking it will just go away. In my work with adolescents and their parents, I've discovered that most parents are shocked to find out their teens are involved in inappropriate relationships. Unfortunately, many teens today are becoming sexually active at extremely young ages. These children are not formally dating as much as they are just hanging out together. Some kids go almost immediately from being mere acquaintances to sexual partners. If we are to help our kids avoid some of life's tra tragic mistakes, we must learn how to talk to our kids about sex and relationships. Make rules and initiate crucial conversations. And remember, we must learn to do what is appropriate for our children in spite of their threats to withdraw love and complaints about our not loving them. I say this often, our first duty to our children is to be their parent and not their friend. For more information, please contact Family Links at 256-820-5911. Welcome to this week's edition of Calhoun County's Most Wanted. First up this week, Jacob Gibson. Mr. Gibson, last known to be living in Anniston, he's wanted for failure to appear on possession and receipt of a controlled substance. And meet James Hansen. Mr. Hansen, last known to be living in Anniston, he's wanted on a bond revocation for domestic violence. Second. And we'd like you to meet Joshua Wirtz. Mr. Wirtz, last known to be living in Anniston, he's wanted on probation revocation for manufacturing of a controlled substance. And take a look, if you would, at Corey Jeffers. Mr. Jeffers, last known to be living in Anniston, he's wanted on probation violation for attempting to possess a controlled substance. And this is Devontae Davis. Mr. Davis, last known to be living in Anniston, he's wanted for probation revocation on prescription, uh, possession of an illegal prescription drug. And we'd like you to meet Patricia Mitchell. Miss Mitchell, last known to be living in Wellington, she's wanted for receiving stolen property third. And last up in the first half of our lineup, Nicholas Wilson. Mr. Wilson, last known to be living in Anniston, he's wanted for possession of marijuana, failure to pay. And that's it for the first half of our lineup. Stay tuned for the second half later in the show. We'll get back to the bad guys here in just a few minutes, but right now we want to welcome Jean Ann Oglesby to Calhoun County's Most Wanted. Uh, this was actually a setup, Jean Ann. Uh, we <laughs> were trying to locate you on some old charges and uh, Matthew, uh -huh. you want to go ahead and get the cuffs out? <laughs> I forgot them in the car. Oh, <laughs> darn. We'll have to get her another time. Well, well, since you're here, yes, let's talk about the downtown market. Okay. Well, I was going to bring you a bag full of goodies, but we sold out last weekend. I mean, we had a huge market, and it was wonderful. So this, this week coming up, actually, is the one that we really want to be at because it's going to be the, uh, the first birthday, birthday of the downtown market. It is. Yes, a year ago, June 14th, we opened... I didn't even know how to spell farm, and now I am a farmer. <laughs> so it's wonderful. We'll have um, entertainment, live entertainment. We'll have ice cream. We'll have a celebration. Of course, we'll have tons and tons of fruits and vegetables, peaches with Mr. Graham out of Chilton County, and tomatoes. Um, what fresh bread that you can get from artisanal? I mean, we're she ready. She hasn't hit my magic word yet, Matthew. Uh -oh. uh, I'm looking for one magic word. Well, those aren't going to be out for a while. Watermelons? Yes. Yeah, I love them. July the 4th. July the 4th, we'll have them. But you don't want a watermelon now because it's not grown here. 
it well, used to be you could, you could get some good ones. I, I always knew you can't get a good watermelon before Memorial Day. Right. So I've waited, but I've been able to find some decent ones after Memorial Day in recent years, but this year I haven't gotten a really good one yet. But, I have. But, I've had about three or four. Rub it in. You bet they're from Florida or South America. You want a good red clay Aniston, Alabama watermelon. Oh. And you will have that July the 4th. Okay. So it is coming. It is coming. It's not fast enough for me. Oh my gosh. I mean, we could do greenhouse if you want. <laughs> I mean, now, this, this, this is why we want the farmer's market. We right. want good quality produce, locally grown whenever possible. These peaches come from Chilton County. That's not as local as some of the other items, but still, right. you know, here in Alabama. And, and we really like to support our local farmers yes, and, and keep do. that going. Yes, we do. We had purple hull peas come in this week and they were grown out in sacks. Of course, we have East Aboga honey, which, you know, those little bees flying around here help us with our allergies and, you know, things that we need to know about honey and pollen and keeping the bees alive. You know, I, I've got a theory okay. about our kids eating vegetables. It, it's so hard sometimes to get the kids to eat vegetables. I think a large part of that and maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's always been that kids wouldn't eat vegetables, but I think a large part of it is the vegetables that we're giving them out of the grocery store just oh, don't have any flavor. They don't have any flavor. It's amazing. You know, I, we had um, some people come in asking for watermelons and, and cantaloupes and tomatoes back in March. Well, you know, I just wanted to cry for them because I knew that they could go to the grocery store and get those, but they were just going to be real disappointed. Right. So... But you know, we, we take senior vouchers, we take SNAP payments, we take credit cards, debit cards, we take cash checks, so we're just right there. 7 a.m. to noon every Saturday behind City Hall. Got a big tent put oh up there. My that gosh. tent's helped out a lot, hasn't it? Oh, the tent is phenomenal. When I was in California, I visited a farmer's market out there, and we were talking, and they had the individual tents like we had last year. And I told her that I had purchased this great big tent. She said, why? And I said, because I was hot. And I said, you know, the, if the shopper's hot, they're not going to stay very long. Right. So she was like, why didn't I think of this? And this is in Southern California, <laughs> 110 degrees. Take care so, of the customers, that's not just right. the people who are you know, selling right. the items. Are we still, do we still have a, a garden where the inmates are helping to grow? We do. It's much smaller this year. We kind of lost our spot. <gasps> and so... Working with Calhoun County Commissioner J.D. Hess, he, he thinks we have a much larger spot for next year. So Good. we've kind of been out of pocket. We do have a very small one this year, and we've, we, you know, we have fed inmates for the past 10 years or so with a garden, and, and we, we kept up with it. Uh, two years ago, we had over 20,000 pounds of produce that wow. we pulled out of our garden, and we did plastic culture. Uh, mm -hmm. We worked with a master guard, uh, master gardeners of Calhoun County who helped us plant it and, and design it. And it's really good. And the inmates that got to work in it, you know, they were, they were kind of proud of it. So That's good. Did they grow to any excess? Would there be a possibility one day of, of the inmates actually being able to sell food at the farmer's market? You oh. know, if we sold it, it wouldn't be the, it wouldn't be the inmates that kind of get in government. Things are different. I wouldn't be able to sell something as a sheriff's office. And, and the inmates, that's, that's our groceries, not theirs. You know, they're just working it. So it's kind of complicated when you get into government, but we, we could have. I mean, mm -hmm. there was plenty there that we could have done that, but we did feed the inmates a lot of fresh squash. You know, when it come in, it come in. Yeah. And uh, we would feed squash, and, and we had a bunch of cucumbers, tomatoes, and uh, we did peas, mm -hmm. uh, okra. So good fresh vegetables, and it never hurt anybody. So. Well, you know, we have those community gardens around town. There's one out at Cane Creek that the Master Gardeners work with. There's one that's uh, being birthed on East 10th Street. And, of course, there's the one from Interfaith Ministries that's up at by, um, what is that, West 15th, West 14th. So those community gardens have been wonderful to help feed everybody around. Yeah. in addition to being able to shop at the market. Oh, we need to take a quick break, but we want to okay. talk more about the downtown market and the birthday that's happening this Saturday, and we will do that here in just a few moments on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. <laughs> Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved. A crackhead. Drug addict. Alcoholic. Meth freak. A wretch. Like me. I once was. Homeless. Broken. Sad. Just lost. But now I am sober. Happy. I'm fine. Was blind, but now I see. Every day, shattered lives are restored. 
Thanks to the goods you donate to the Salvation Army. Your word is rigmarole. Can you define it? A long, complicated, and annoying process. Can you use it in a sentence? The last time I tried to buy a car, I just got a big load of rigmarole. Well, you should have gone to Jacksonville Auto Sales. Jacksonville Auto Sales across from Walmart in Jacksonville or find us on the web at jascars.com. Remember, Jacksonville Auto Sales, home of the no rigmarole deal. Big news for home buyers searching through all those complicated mortgage options. AOD Federal Credit Union is now offering new, out-of-the-box mortgage solutions. Mortgage loan manager Jamie Bailey will help find the best rates and quickest approval for you. Conventional, FHA, VA, USDA, Jumbo, Harp, and more. Call Jamie Bailey at 256-241-8218. Out-of-the-box mortgage services. Reason number four, that you belong with AOD Federal Credit Union. Federally insured by NCUA. All loans subject to credit approval. Certain restrictions apply. Equal housing lender. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality, and Sonny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sunny King Ford for the best cars and best price. And welcome to the second half of our lineup. First up this half, Crystal Hammond. Miss Hammond, last known to be living in East Aboga. She's wanted for probation revocation on possession of an illegal prescription drug. And this is Joseph Davis. Mr. Davis, last known to be living in Jacksonville. He's wanted for failure to appear on domestic violence third assault. And meet Curtis Hutcherson. Mr. Hutcherson, last known to be living in Anniston. He's wanted on probation revocation of possession of marijuana second. And this is Jason Hill. Mr. Hill, last known to be living in Anniston. He's wanted for failure to appear on child support the face of a deadbeat dad. And meet Nathan Gurley, Mr. Gurley, last known to be living in Anniston. He's wanted for probation vacation on possession of a forged instrument third. And last up in our lineup this week, Jabril Clark, Mr. Clark, last known to be living in Anniston. He's wanted for failure to appear on possession of marijuana second, resisting arrest, and obstruction of governmental operations. And that's it for our lineup this week. If you have any information on the whereabouts of these folks, please Give us a call at Crime Stoppers 238-1414. We'll have the Crime, uh, Crime Stoppers segment of the show and our Crazy Criminal coming up in just a few minutes. But right now we're talking with Jean Ann Oglesby about uh, the downtown market. Jean Ann, congratulations because Thank you took you. this over last year and nobody kind of knew what was going to happen. Right. But, but the growth has been really nice and it's a very solid footing now for the downtown market in Anniston. It has been. It's been wonderful. I had the best producers that you could ever find that are the vendors that our market and our crafters are just phenomenal. It's, it's great to watch somebody create a necklace or to um, to watch somebody create soaps, goat's milk soap, or to watch the kids. When I say kids, we're talking about little baby goats mm -hmm. that um, will be working the farm as they get older. Now, is it too late? You're talking about the vendors. Is it too late for somebody to become a vendor this year? I'm always taking applications because it's sometimes somebody cannot be there. So I can always put someone in a slot. So I, it, there's never a no. Mm -hmm. So I would love to have more farmers and, and crafters with us. Uh, the more items that we have there for the people to purchase, the more people we're going to have right. coming down to purchase those. So it's good to keep that building. But at the same time, you got to make sure that we're taking care of the vendors right. who are committing themselves there. Uh, exactly. from the beginning of the season you, know, you you opened up earlier this year than you did we last did. year was that a popular thing to do well what happened were that last year uh, because we are a certified market we couldn't sell before the time that we had said would be open it's just like being a store in the mall you know if you're open at this time you're open at that so all these people would get off work at seven o'clock and they wanted to come by and buy their fresh vegetables before they went home and went to sleep and we couldn't sell so um, you know I listened and my farmers listened and so we decided this year we'd open at seven o'clock and it's been wonderful very good so you know the alarm clock goes off early but yeah. it's been good and it's much cooler at that time of the morning all right so 
This week is the birthday, and we're not just going to let this birthday pass without a celebration. Of what are we doing? Of course do? not. Well, okay, starting at 7 o'clock, we'll, we'll be well ready and waiting for people. But um, and anybody who wants to crank ice cream, it is. Matthew it, is good at yes, turning mindlessly. Yes, I need mindlessly. crankers. I want ice cream. Okay, okay, good. Well, so we'll need somebody to start cranking on the ice cream. Um, again, we open at 7. Then we have Dwight and Tyrone who are coming in to be our live entertainment. We have giveaways that the merchants around town are providing, so we'll have drawings on the hour, every hour. Uh, and of course, at the end of the day, at 12 noon, we'll give away our market basket, which is produce and um, craft items from all our vendors there. Yeah, anybody, it's going to be tons of fun. You do that every week. People can just put their name into the drawing, right. and at the end of the day, you might end up winning some of everything. Yes, you will. Yeah, so that, that's if nice. I've seen some people on Facebook when they've won that. They post that up on Facebook, and they're, they're so proud of it, and they love they it. They are. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I love that we do that. And Matthew, for, from the uh, the law enforcement side of things, we always try to bring this around to to Calhoun County and public safety. When people are getting their hands dirty and 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 getting back to nature, there really is a benefit to that for all of society, isn't there? Yeah, it's very therapeutic uh, for me. I get on the tractor and do some work and some gardening. That's a really good time for me to relax and do some uh, some good thinking. But if you're doing that type of thing, you're you're probably not in trouble. I have an old saying, if you know. You hunt and fish with your kids today, you won't have to look for them tomorrow. And it's kind of the same thing if you're teaching young people how to work the land. You know, you're feeding them today and they'll know how to feed themselves forever. So. And that's what I love about our market. Anytime you have any questions about vegetables, you talk to the person who's actually grown that vegetable that's right in front of you. You can ask about herbicides, you can ask about anything that they do, and they're more than willing to share that using their expertise and they're willing to share that. Now, are there any items you talked about selling out and Watermelons aren't there yet. They'll be there 4th of July. Right. Are there any items that we've been able to get the last few weeks that might be disappearing soon? Well, of course, peaches have a short life, mm -hmm. you know, three or four weeks. But what we have coming in this week will be blackberries and blueberries. Oh. So I know. Mm, <laughs> yum. Uh, strawberries have already come and gone. Um, but tomatoes, you know, we all wait for that tomato, for that tomato sandwich. They are starting to come in. They're not as brightly red as you want it. They still have a tinge of green to them. But many of them are ready to slice. And the heirlooms have not appeared yet. Uh, and then the okra, the um, corn. We did have a little bit of corn show up last weekend. So, I mean, it's just perpetual. The weather has been good for us. With this little rain shower we had this morning, that's even better. All right. so. This will be the birthday. We've this already been going birthday. for this season. First. Not only did we start earlier in the season this year, we're going to be going later, aren't we? Right. Last year we were only open 14 Saturdays. So this year we decided to go bigger and better. So we're open 38 Saturdays this year, which translates to that we'll be open through October the 31st. Right, straight so through Halloween. All right. Straight through Halloween. We'll celebrate then too. Get your pumpkins out there That's and right. carve up and a good local pumpkin. We might have a watermelon or two left. All right. <laughs> Jean-Anne, thank you very much and look pleasure. forward to seeing you Saturday morning. Okay, I'll be there. All right, thank and we you. will be right back with the Crime Stopper segment of the show and our Crazy Criminal of the Week on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality, and Sunny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sunny King Ford for the best cars and best price. Big news for home buyers searching through all those complicated mortgage options. AOD Federal Credit Union is now offering new, out-of-the-box mortgage solutions. Mortgage loan manager Jamie Bailey will help find the best rates and quickest approval for you. Conventional, FHA, VA, USDA, Jumbo, Harp, and more. Call Jamie Bailey at 256-241-8218. Out-of-the-box mortgage services. Reason number four, that you belong with AOD Federal Credit Union. Federally insured by NCUA. All loans subject to credit approval. Certain restrictions apply. Equal housing lender. For emergency and non-emergency medical transportation, you can count on Aniston EMS. 
Hello, I'm Johnny Warren with Anniston EMS, and we appreciate the opportunity to provide support for the Calhoun County's Most Wanted program. And I would like to remind everyone out there that if they need any medical transportation needs, please don't hesitate to call us. Call Anniston EMS at 256-237-8572. Your word is rigmarole. Can you define it? A long, complicated, and annoying process. Can you use it in a sentence? The last time I tried to buy a car, I just got a big load of rigmarole. Well, you should have gone to Jacksonville Auto Sales. Jacksonville Auto Sales across from Walmart in Jacksonville or find us on the web at jascars.com. Remember, Jacksonville Auto Sales, home of the no rigmarole deal. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a crackhead. Drug addict, alcoholic, meth free, a rich like me. I once was homeless, broken, sad, just lost. But now I am sober, happy. I'm fine. Was blind, but now I see. Every day, shattered lives are restored thanks to the goods you donate to the Salvation Army. And welcome to the Crime Stoppers portion of our show, where we ask you to put your deer stalkers on and help our investigators with these cases. First up this week, on June 3rd, a camouflage wallet containing U.S. currency was stolen from a vehicle at 50 Short Street in Oxford. And on May 22nd, an M4 rifle was stolen from a vehicle on the 9,000 block of Highway 431 in Alexandria. We really need to find that. And sometime between May 30th and May 31st, an air compressor and pressure washer were both stolen from a shop located on the 300 block of Collins Road in Ohatchee. And on May 29th, the Husqvarna lawnmower was stolen from the 3000 block of Old Downing Mill Road in Anniston. And last up, on May 25th, a chicken house located on Old Rocky Hollow Road in Piedmont was broken into they got away with a bunch of power tools. And that's it for our Crime Stoppers portion this week. If you have any information on these cases, please give Crime Stoppers a call at 238-1414. Remember, we want your information and not your name. Stupid! You're so stupid! All right, our crazy criminal this week got in trouble over some pizza. I can see where that could happen. Florida man Daniel Plunkett got into a fight with his roommate Brenda over pizza. Tempers ran high, and uh, the uh, police report says victim had pizza sauce on her right shoulder and cleaned up prior to arrival because Daniel had chunked a slice of pizza at his roommate. So now he's uh, dealing with some kind of an assault charge or whatever. But the, the, the problem was really big for him because he was on probation so he's violated that now where you would think okay throw in a slice of pizza at somebody how bad can that be when you're on probation it's a different deal isn't it uh, yeah he's probably in trouble because he was on probation you know surely they would have been able to resolve that some other way but you know she filed the report i don't know where you go with that but uh, the, i guess the moral of the story here is don't get in trouble that first time i mean i know we all make some mistakes but there are certain mistakes that most of us are capable of avoiding. He might have got arrested for a party foul. You know, you're wasting pizza like that. <laughs> no, that that's that, true. That could be a crime in <laughs> itself. You know, if you throw a slice from you know somewhere that's really good. You know, I'd be like, you gonna eat that? Uh, I mean, you, you throw a slice of Mata's at somebody, I'm gonna have a, a words with you. It probably wouldn't reach him. That'd be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just stay out of trouble to begin with. You won't be on probation and think. When you're on that probation, you really have to behave. That is, you have to behave. Absolutely. All right. Well, hopefully we're all behaving and not just because we're afraid of jail, but because it's the right thing to do. But if you know of somebody who's not, we need the information. Give us a call. That's what this show is all about is sharing information with the public. And you have helped us make a big difference in this community. So we thank you for that. We have run out of time for this week's edition of Calhoun County's Most Wanted, but we will be looking for you again next week. Hopefully not in the lineup on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. Good night. Mm -hmm.